From breezy ballets to soaring sculptures, summer in New Bedford is shaping up to be an art-filled one. It's all thanks to DATMA, a new organization which is sponsoring a series of public art events all themed around wind. The city of New Bedford has historically been a fishing town, attracting whalers, sailors and tourists from around the world. But now, a change is in the air, and it's a big one. And you can hear, it's kind of like, it sounds like, like leaves and aspen trees, you know, blowing in the wind or something. It's very calming, I think. This almost 7,000 square foot sky net floating over Custom House Square is titled Silver Current. It was designed by Poetic Kinetics and its creative director, Patrick Shern. His team is renowned for creating large-scale, site-specific installations in cities and festivals across the world. They came here to capture the wind. So what I'm trying to do is uh, harness it so it doesn't just blow away, but I want to give it as much freedom to behave naturalistically and move and dance and play in the wind. The work is the centerpiece of a new arts initiative from the Massachusetts Design, Art and Technology Institute otherwise known as DATMA. The organization is promoting a plethora of arts programming in New Bedford as part of their inaugural Summer Winds Festival, designed to accent the city's emergence in the wind turbine industry. There were a whole group of us in this area who came to this area with all sorts of international experiences and love of art and design and saw this historic community as a great place to ground it. Roger Mandel is the co-founder of DATMA and a former president of the Rhode Island School of Design. He's spearheading an arts initiative that spans from the city's Harbor Walk, where art students from Bristol Community College and UMass Dartmouth have created their own wind-themed works, to the galleries of New Bedford's Whaling Museum. Mandel is the co-curator of this exhibition titled Da Wind is Op, which explores how the winds of climate change are visible in Dutch and Flemish maritime painting. During that period, there was a sort of mini ice age, and it changed the way in which economies worked, the way in which the fishing industry worked, the whaling industry, going into the Arctic and having their ships frozen into the ice. This was very dramatic. A little ways down the road, we find wind evoked through the body at the New Bedford Ballet. Dancer Eugenia Zinoviava is a teacher and choreographer here, working with high school students rehearsing four hours a day, four days a week, for their upcoming Summer Winds performance. So I wanted to play with covering space physically and also exploring the different ways that wind can behave. So we have kind of the quiet wind that rustles the leaves on the ground and moves the curtains in your living room and then we have the really big gusts of wind that just make everything fly. So give me a sense, how do you conjure a tree moving or a curtain moving? Um, it's, it's quite physical, so it's going to be literally what I tell the students is we're going to hit this pose and we're going to get into like a pose here and then we're going to be completely still and then the curtains in the living room are just going to blow gently with the breeze. It's only a week into rehearsals, but the students make the work look like a breeze, mostly. Way too far down. I think that the hardest part is getting it to physically translate through movement. So I think for me the most important thing is just what feels good and I'm pretty confident that it'll translate well to the students that are dancing it. Her dancers will perform at Custom House Square at the end of July, underneath the silver screen. Shern's shimmering installation features more than 40,000 streamers of silver film, bound by net traditionally used for commercial fishing. The result is an iridescent canopy that connects viewers with nature around them. The quality of the intimate experience underneath, it's like, you know, it's like walking into some kind of like Hobbitville or some kind of like strange, like, wow, what have we got here? You've essentially created a mini atmosphere here yeah, in New Bedford. Yeah. It surprised me too. I, it's a perfect location. I, I hadn't expected this. Mostly I'm worried about like clearance for fire trucks and stuff. And now you know, it's perfect. It's really allowed me to be intimate and have trees underneath is really special and a breath of fresh air for the whaling city.